Come here, Bambi. Bambi, get your bitch ass over here. What's Gucci, y'all? Welcome to a new vlog. If y'all watching this, then I might be dead. Um, I hope y'all enjoy this. And the information I'm about to give out is crazy. So let's get it, man. So you guys, it's, it's some shit I always wanted to talk about. And I know a lot of people ain't gonna believe me about this, but like, it's all some real shit. So I know y'all saw that aliens video and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? And y'all were like, that's funny and all, but the real video I posted about that, I actually saw some shit in the sky. I actually have them as Facebook friends right now, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I, I, I could talk to them, you know what I'm saying? I could hit them up and tell them, like, if y'all remember this day. Because we were all, like, pulling an all-nighter. I don't know if y'all know what an all-nighter is. But we were, like, fucking staying up all night. It's, that's what an all-nighter is. Sometimes we do it outside. Sometimes we'll fucking do it inside. But overall, we were just doing an all-nighter, right? And it was like four or five of us and we were just all chilling and some some homegirl said to look let's look at the stars or some shit you know what i'm saying so we're all like kind of high or whatever not really you know what i'm saying because we were smoking reggie so we were like on that bullshit but at the same time you know what i'm saying we were young so we were kind of high but we looking up in the sky you can show in the sky real quick so we looking up in the sky and shit right and we see this big ass star like this shit was like the star of, you know what I'm saying, when when Jesus was born or whatever and they followed the star, the three kings. It was like a big ass star like that. So we're all looking, we're like, damn, look at that star, look at that star. And um, I don't know where that bitch just, that bitch was gone, bro. That whole, and we seen it kind of just like from to, to this point to boom. We are fucking shocked, right? At this point. We knew, all of us knew that shit was unbelievable. Half of us forgot about it. It's because we didn't, our minds couldn't believe it. Our minds always thought like, we know what we saw and that was, that was pretty crazy, right? And my mind almost forgot about it. Until one day, like two years later, right guys? I, I was looking up in the sky on my patio and I'm in a whole different side. I was in the west side, west side when I saw that, right? Now I'm in the north side, and then I'm looking up in the sky, but but something told me to look up in the sky, matter of fact. Like, I was smoking a Garcia Vega green, I remember, like it was yesterday. I could get down to the fucking details. It was dark. I was smoking the Garcia Vega green. I could smell the green grass in the air, and I look up in the sky. Something just told me to look up in the sky, and I thought about that day from a long time ago, and I, I saw like a big-ass star like that. I was like, oh, shit. And I look, and out of nowhere, just right away when I look. And it was if I didn't look five seconds, if I looked five seconds later, I, it wouldn't have been there. I wouldn't have saw it. But guess what? Something told me to look at that exact second. And I looked up, and I saw that shit just... I was like, oh, fuck. So at this point, that's when I knew all shit, aliens, everything, all that bullshit. That's all real, bro. Like... All this shit, y'all think that people just created it like a Marvel comic or some shit, right? But that's not true. Like, people, when they state alien facts and shit, half that shit is true, bruh. And this is just one thing that the government doesn't want us to know. Aliens are real. I saw a newscast saying they are real. They spotted like an aircraft or whatever. And they're like, we don't know what, what they are or what they do. And that's why it's scary, right? And... I don't know guys, it's just crazy because this is just saying aliens are real, like 100% I know that shit, I know what the fuck I saw, I'm not stupid, you know what I'm saying, like I saw that shit and I wouldn't be sitting here telling this story if I, if I knew it was fake, you know what I'm saying, this shit was 100% true and I always keep this on my mind, I, I always want to tell my new fans, like new fans that are watching now, I did see this shit, this shit is 100% real, I put that on my dead homies, on everything, on my dead cats, on my dead dogs, bruh, on everything, bruh, you know what I'm saying, everything I love, this shit is true, I'm not fucking lying, like I saw this shit, and my homies, I'll hit them up, I know they fucking remember this shit, this was like, who, who the fuck could forget their first alien sight or something like that, you know what I'm saying, it's like, it's not like something you see every day. So that shit was crazy. Alright, you guys, another thing. 
Let's talk about this rap shit. This rap industry, all this bullshit. Half these rappers, they go, they do it like a platinum hit, right? I'm about to, I'm about to unlock the sauce for a lot of y'all that don't know about this rap shit. I'm about to expose the rap industry. A lot of these rappers, bro, they fucking, they, they do a platinum hit, right? Boom. We got a platinum hit. We got money from that. So guess what they do? They pay their management and their management pays money to have that shit on sources, on platforms, etc., etc. If you go platinum, if you make a million dollars in this rap shit, you know what I'm saying? And you, you, you try to go beyond, be above and beyond it, you know what I'm saying? You have to have like your management and other people get you on those platforms. If not, you're not going to do the hits. You see all this corruption talking about, oh, this happens, oh, he got shot, this and that, and low-key, next week they're dropping fucking their album that they were supposed to drop since, like, last month, last year, you know what I'm saying? And you're like, oh, why the fuck is this happening? It's for promotion, you know what I'm saying? That's fucked up that it has to come down to that. Y'all see this video, if you're watching this, I might be, I'm dead, you know what I'm saying? And guess who y'all clicked that? That's fucked up because y'all actually think... It's fucked up that y'all click it because of the title, right? It's all corrupted. It's all like, why you got to click my videos that's saying it's a boring video, but then y'all click this one saying that if y'all watch this, I'm dead. You know what I'm saying? So I know more people are going to click this than this is a boring video for the title. That's facts. And this is what this is what has to be said. So guess what? I can't sign a rap deal. I can't do none of that bullshit and this this is facts because like like what if you do sign your soul bruh and then like I don't know you fucking one day you die and you're in hell like you get to regret every day in hell for the rest and it doesn't stop it's not like this shit is a prison sentence like even a 40 to life you're gonna die in jail you know what I'm saying that's fucked up but at least you're not going like you have time to like pray and repent when you're in hell, you're in hell, bro. It's over. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm trying to live my best life. I ain't trying to be all that with all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? This shit dead. Um, but long story short, this rap shit is all fucked up. That's why, like, I, I don't really label myself as a full-time rapper. I'm more of a, like, YouTuber slash rapper. You know what I'm saying? But, like, o only way I see that is because, like, if you're a rapper, you got to, like, really pursue that shit and do this and that. And next thing you know, you're signing your soul and you're over here doing, like, Illuminati shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, in your videos. And I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be a sellout. Next thing you know, your management saying you can't answer your fans. Uh, you can't drop your music without our permission. And, you know, they own all your fucking, your music and all that bullshit. And I don't want to really go through that. I want to own all my my shit and I want to collect all the commission myself instead of my management or, you know, people like that doing that for me. I got to do this on my own. And that's what it is. Let's get it. All right, y'all. Another thing is, look at the sky. I'm here to tell y'all right now, those are not clouds. Those are what you call chemtrails and it's only been getting worse, guys. So, let me explain to y'all what's really going on. Alright y'all, so right now I'm about to explain to y'all about the chemtrails. Um, chemtrails, man. So back in 2012, that's when I first got like introduced to the chemtrails, you know. Like I first started understanding what they were and how they're like affecting our environment as we speak. Now, like I told y'all, I saw what I saw in the sky. And there was nothing anybody could do to stop or prevent that. You know what I'm saying, guys? And I'm documenting this and I'm recording this video because if anything happens, like, you never know. They could erase your memory or they could just wipe my ass out of exist existence. So I'm just like, that's why this video is titled like that because it's possible. And, and I just want to say, like, I know I have so much fans, it's going to be pretty hard to wipe out all of us, you know what I'm saying, and act like we were never there. That's what I think. But they have so much technology, they could literally go back in time and make sure I was not born. So I could not even give out this information. 
But like, that's not clouds, guys. I'm telling y'all right now. It's supposed to be sunny right now, right? It's supposed to be sunny. Y'all saw earlier in the video, it was sunny, right? All that good sun. There was no chemtrails. This is, that was the other day I recorded that. Today is today, whatever, yada, yada. But um, the next day after the sunny day, I saw chemtrails. I saw them going. And now, it used to be just one guy. One one plane, I mean one jet, just throwing the chemtrails. You know what I'm saying? So it used to be just one jet back in 2012. And it used to be just like, boom, boom. That's it. You know? Now, you got four or five jets daily. And they're driving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Guys, y'all saw on my Instagram one time, I posted the chemtrails that I saw in the sky. It was like a tic-tac-toe. These guys went forward, forward, side, side. And that's how they could control the whole sky. That's what y'all seen right now. It's all covered and it looks like clouds, right? It's not clouds. What I've been noticing that the government or whoever, the Air Force or whoever's producing this chemtrails, I think I have an idea about why they're doing this. Uh, beyond the fact that it's affecting our environment slash changing the weather. What I mean by changing the weather is it was supposed to be sunny, but since they got so much chemtrails in the sky, it, co it creates like fake clouds as y'all can see. And it makes it look like they're real clouds when I could obviously tell the difference between fake and real. You see, real clouds, guys, they're separate and part, 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 part. This in the sky, dude, it's straight lined out. Lined out like you're fucking above the ocean water. I mean, above the ocean water. Y'all know what I mean? Like, if the reflection is straight lined out like a reflection of the ocean. All like, like... It's not, it's not real clouds. Real clouds, you know the difference, dude. Even real clouds that are dark, that are supposed to be dark for the rain, is like, you could tell the difference between this thin, you know, cross and then the regular clouds that are more puffy and, you know, like how you draw a cloud, it's like that. You draw this, it's like fucking it's vapor or something, dude. It's fucking insane. But I think that they're covering the sky, guys. I think that they're hiding something in the sky. Because they're covering the whole sky now. And they used to not do that. Now they're doing it hardcore. Very, very hardcore. Like, y'all seen, this is freaking insane. Like, insanely too much to, like... How do you explain it? It's just too much to take in. Like, I hate to say it, guys, but... If we don't all stand up and do something... Like, we lost. And we're just gonna live day by day thinking everything's okay... My bad. We we can't live day by day thinking everything's okay because it's not. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got problems out there. And the only way people can hear me is through this YouTube. So, I'm like, damn. And it's like a lot of people don't care or they're just worried about the wrong things. But sooner or later, money's not going to be the, the main goal in life. What what happens when money's nothing in life? Then what y'all gonna do? What do y'all see y'allself doing? And me, I'm already planned for that. I don't care about the money. I don't care about... I, I just... I don't want to die. Just like all of y'all, we don't want to die. But it's... It's like... It, we're born to die. We're born. We do our thing. And everybody has their time. I don't know one person that hasn't died... Um, from old age, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know... But, um, it's just crazy, guys. It's so much to think about, about this government and what they're doing. Like, the people that join in the Air Force, what are y'all thinking when y'all do that? When y'all got, I know y'all got kids and all that stuff. I said this before. What are y'all thinking when y'all putting chemtrails in the sky? Does that make you feel like a man? Oh, you get money? Is that is that really right just because you get money? Jesus said don't fight by the sword. So why the cops got guns on their waist? I know it's for protection. But these niggas be shooting for no reason sometimes. 
just like us, I ain't gonna lie, but I got a weapon and I use it straight for our self defense. I don't I'm not out there trying to look for trouble. I'm I'm low key, you know what I'm saying, and I'm not trying to have you know, some dumb stuff happening to me. But anyway, I hope y'all, like, learned a little something about this video. This is, like, the three main things I wanted to been talking about, like, that's been on my mind. Because every time, every day I look up, if y'all look up right now, look up in the sky right now. If you see a jet with the chemtrails, look up chemtrails, matter of fact. If you see that in your sky, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. It's in California. It's all around the United States. It's probably even beyond that. And that's the scariest part about it all. It's the whole world. Now, when you're releasing all this pollution in the world, on top of the pollution we're already putting out, just imagine how this world's going to be in like 10 years from now. We ain't going to have these trees no more, man. We ain't going to have all this shit. Because first, they keep on tearing shit down to make buildings. Like, we need more trees than buildings, honestly. Because trees give off oxygen. So if we have all buildings and we take down all our tree sources, we're not going to have as much oxygen as we would. Especially y'all putting chemtrails in the sky. So it's already affecting our oxygen level. Not our oxygen level, but what we breathe in and the chemicals and stuff. It's affecting our plantation. And all this stuff is affecting it. Because what goes up must come down, man. I'm telling y'all. So... It might look like it's in the sky now, but once it goes away, guess where it's at? Down below, man. That shit doesn't fly up into space, boy. When them chemtrails are gone, they're on the earth. They're, they're on the earth. They're on the floor, nigga. They're, on, they're in our fucking bodies. You go look at our water supply. We got sodium fluoride in our water. I remember I had to change my shower head. Because it was all white crust, not crusty, white like toothpaste or something like chalk. Like what the fuck? And that's coming on to me and I'm washing myself with some polluted ass water, boy. And it's kind of crazy because in the Bible it says, that Enjoy this video. If y'all did by any chance, make sure y'all hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, just thank y'all for everything. 200k on the way, bitch!